I just made the turn. The kilometer signs are going to start turning to mile signs soon. And uh, man, I'm starting to get excited. The prep, all the ambition and all the work that goes into getting down to this race all relies and depends on whether or not I can get through the border. It's always, uh, yeah, always makes me a little bit anxious and, and kind of gets the butterflies going, but uh, it's all part of it, right? And uh, just looking forward to getting down into the States and going to see, um, going straight to 509 headquarters. So maybe going to be some, some top secret stuff get to see there. Stay tuned. Oh, we're going to Jackson, baby! So I turned the hat around forwards and uh, tried to make myself look as respectable as I can with this sick mustache. Figured if I'm going to the west, I'm gonna look like I'm from the west. Oh, and I'm gonna hit some turkeys. Look at this! Don't do it, dude! I'm actually here, dude! You can pull in right there by my truck and whatever. The parking lot loops around. Okay. Bye. I got you something sweet. That's right. I forget the tables turn with you now. You're a media guy. Yeah. Look at who's got the camera now. The you can thing. you can put that on and cheer for your favorite rider this weekend. Oh, I got Actually, that's bias, isn't it? <laughs> <I got> favorites. <laughs> Shoot. I guess it's official, like I am going racing now. Yeah, you should see yeah. the machine I bought off Craigslist to make this. <laughs> it's crazy. It's in the back seat of my truck, just keep pressing things on last minute. Don't touch it, it's still hot. Well, I just left 509. There was certainly some things in there that I'm very excited to talk about and to show you guys in the future. I did pick up one little piece. Uh, I'll release that in the video. A new jacket that I'm really excited about and uh man just on the highway here now I got another like eight and a half hours tonight to go and right now the traffic leaving the city sucks so it's just kind of taking my time doing like 20 miles an hour uh yeah <laughs> it could make for a long night if this kind of wears me down here for the next hour or two but we'll get there can't exactly say that my timing is all that awesome 6 30 trying to leave Spokane and head North Coeur d'Alene? No bueno. The amount of things that I've bought from that store before, oh man. Every X Games I used to go in there. I'm like 90% truck driver. I'm just topping off all the fluids right now. I'm gonna go in and grab a bag of jerky and a Monster Energy drink, hit the road. But uh, man, it's this is all part of the fun. Going up the hill is the stressful part. Getting to the race and having fun doing it, that's the fun part. Multitasking it, spilling it all over the place too. I never really figured out why the, the uh, low washer fluid light comes on. You go put it in and it doesn't take a full jug. Like now what am I going to do with that? Working on fill up number two of this trip here in the States now. I'm starting to get exhausted. I've been on the road for a little over 12 hours. Got like another four and a half to go, but uh, the end is in sight. Two monsters deep, then I'm just switching over to water. I wanna be able to sleep when I get to Shad's tonight. So hopefully this tank fill up will get me the rest of the way, get this uh, rig parked and uh, get to work tomorrow morning. I don't know what time I'm going to wake up. I'm going to try and sleep as long as I can. All right, third and final friggin' fuel stop for the night. I'm about two hours away from Shad's place now. Uh, I am tired. It's going to be about like 5 or 5.30 when I get home. I left uh, Kamloops at like 9.30. So it's been a day. Um, looking forward to getting to a little bit of sleep and then getting up and busting ass to start building some snowmobiles tomorrow. And uh, I'm gonna take you guys along for the transformation. But for now, I gotta throw some fuel in this rig and uh, man, I'm gonna hammer down and get to Shad's place. Do a little rig check. Those are still round, so that's sick. Those ones are still around too. Dialed. Get 
Getting close hey. now. The destination is on your left. Arrive. Home, Chad Simmons. Just in time for breakfast. Oh man, 19 hours later, four truck stops, two monsters. I'm here, I'm in Utah. Time to go get some sleep. We're gonna build some sleds in the morning and go do some testing. Peace out, guys. Just waking up at Chad's. He's got chickens in his yard, man. Look at that. Backdrop's looking sick. We got like 10 hours worth of sled work to do. We might be able to ride sleds today. Well, after about oh, six hours of sleep, maybe, back in the truck, headed over to the shop here with uh, Shad Simmons. Gonna go and do some wrenching on some sleds. Got some stuff to get ready. Luckily, there's some really rad companies nearby. One of them being Zollinger Racing Products. Gonna go get some lightweight rotating package to put on my mod, and uh, hopefully that's gonna help me get up Jackson faster. So if you guys aren't familiar with Shad Simmons, the Simmons family is actually pretty iconic in snowmobiling. One of the first creators of like an aftermarket ski, right? Simmons Flex Ski. And uh, it's really rad to come here. I used to stop here once a trip on my way down to Aspen for the X Games all the time. Now we're back. We're going to do some hill climb prep. Shad's actually riding the freestyle show with me on Saturday night. So it should be fun. We haven't ridden ramps together in, I don't know, three, four years. How long has it been since we rode ramps together? Yeah, two or three years, something like that. So, yeah, it should be fun. He said his freestyle sled runs like crap, so we got to work on it. There's a couple of years worth of aluminum shavings here, Shad. That's a week. That's a week? Yeah, you can clean that stuff out fast. For making air guns or what? Snowmobiles anymore? You just farm. Just farm. <laughs> just farm and kill shit. Was this like the 2024 Arctic Yeah, it's not released yet. You shouldn't show anyone. Oh shoot, dude. Dang. Bold new colors again. Yeah. Bellow spindles. Look at those things. You're supposed to follow that sentence up with built, not bought, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the sled's been in the shop for literally five minutes and he's just about got a tour right down, dude. Might as well do a turbo swap while we're in there. Yep. Pistons. It's only two days before the race. We have to do the snow plot the wheat still. Just cracked into Imani. We're fighting with the brake rotor to get it off. But uh, the, here's how practice went for me this week. It's been uh, really tough for me to not ride the brake a whole bunch, but you can see the brake got so hot that it started melting the QD belt. Look at that right there, it's not the best. So, going to uh, take the brake rotor off, go get it trued by uh, ZRP, get it lightweighted, and uh, hopefully get some more cooling out of it by going lighter and more true, and I can make it to the top of Jackson without losing my brakes. So what you were saying is that I was starting to run out of brake pads. Dude, I think that this is really straight. The wow, RP's gonna love machining dude. that one. How bad is it? It's bad. <laughs> oh my hell. So I told you, dude, I was I going you fast! A, I think you had a little bit of brake fade. <laughs> what color is your sled? It's red. Red, yeah. It's race weekend, dude. Time to stack up on some ZRP products. Got myself some uh, some brake rotors that are lighter and stronger. And uh, these rail braces should get me over the top. Now the real work begins, dude. Now we gotta go build these things. One of the main components that they were uh, talking about giving me is this uh, this brake rotor. It's been trued, it's been lightweighted, and it adds a lot more cooling. As you guys seen in the earlier video, the uh, drive belt or the QD belt was getting really hot. I actually had a really warped rotor on both of my sleds, and uh, this is just kinda gonna be the fix for going up the hill fast and uh, not having to lose my brakes. What are you building me here, Simmons? I don't know, we're trying to copy Andy Thomas. Well, he's fast, so if we can copy him, then we're doing good. Well, if we copy him, we won't beat him. We gotta 
Make it better? A bit lighter. Yep. Custom cuts by Shad. Eh? I think it's Andy Thomas approved. I think so, but it might not be Chris Baran approved. Who's that? <laughs> a progress report. Shad introduced me what a fat boy is, which is pretty damn good. He's like, man, you've never had a fat boy. I don't know if it's an American thing or what, but we um, we got a couple of torn apart sleds still. Doesn't look like we've accomplished much, but we've got some skids put together. Shad's got the uh, tunnel protectors in. We're just putting the stalker back together and uh, not gonna ride tonight. It'll be a tomorrow project, I think. And open that sucker up, and he rode just this much of his track all the way to the third catwalk. He just sat there and wheeled all the way. Cool when you can get into that flow, right? Yeah. I mean, you just go through. Yeah, and you got the building on top. They used to put the lights on the right side at the top. <laughs> on the right side? If you went over that thing and went to the lights wide open, you, would miss you were the lucky light. to even get stopped before you went down the <laughs> side of the mountain. Insane. The final piece to the uh, ZRP lightweight rotating package, we got the stock flywheel here out of my boost. Just kind of throwing it on the scale just to, you know, just get some new, some numerical value to it. Uh, three pounds, 1.1 ounces on the stalker. And I'll take the Zollinger one that's been machined down. Two pounds, 13 ounces. So, um, you know, a little over a pound. One pound of rotating mass is seven pounds of static. So that's going to be a big help. Should be fun. All right, it's now midnight. Sleds are starting to look like snowmobiles again. And, uh... Man, we're gonna go blow off some steam. Shad said, let's go shoot the full auto. So whatever that means, he's like, just meet me in the room. We're gonna shoot a gun. <laughs> we gotta go outside to shoot this thing or what? Hell no. Dude, I shoot pistols in here and everything. We're gonna shoot inside? Yep. Yeah. What even is that thing, dude? Dude, I don't even know what to do with my hands right now. <laughs> <laughs> what was that switch you just showed me? Either semi-auto or full auto. 30 caliber. That's 4,000 PSI pushing the bullets. <laughs> and we're gonna shoot it in the garage. Yep. Accurate, try it. Well, I know that, but really it's just the fact of like, gosh, maybe we shut the safety off. It's in front of the trigger. There you go. <laughs> so switch it to full. Come on. I just hold it in one spot. And just hold the trigger until it's empty. <laughs> yeah, right. Just like tire selection, eh? Just like, oh, this gun's not really suited for this job. I'm going to grab a different one. So what's this thing? This one's a 25, yo. <laughs> I love how you have, like, your sled gears hanging up right there, and then you just have a target downrange. Yeah, I like to party. Right. Good morning on day two of wrenching here. Uh, we've actually been in the shop for a little bit. Camera's been on charge. I was way too tired to really accomplish much of anything last night. But uh, yeah, we were in the shop till like one, maybe two o'clock in the morning. And now we're just kind of buttoning things up. Shad's in here busting ass and uh, let's go check it on out. I'm so excited to go ride these things now that we've been working on them all these hours. Whoa, dude, you got my sled built already. Dude, I wasn't sure if this time was actually ever gonna come. Like, I felt like we were pretty swamped in it last night. 
So now we got a, a mod sled and a stock sled. We're going to load up and go do some testing. Finally. And we're just going to come back and we still got like another four or five hours worth of work to do. Are you going racing? We're going racing so fast. <laughs> so we just fueled up. One of the craziest things I've seen, they offer race fuel at the pump here at, uh, in Utah. And I don't know if that's just because it's a race in town or what the deal is, but pretty stoked on that. Threw a little splash in the boost and uh, yeah, just gonna go do some testing here now. All the hard work is more or less done. Go get this testing done, cut some tracks, throw some screws in them, and then we'll be loading up and heading to Jackson. Some boys down there just shooting guns. They're blasting down there? Oh yeah. Sick. You got some insider scoop, Ryan, on the new course? Yeah, it's right here. Look at that. There it is. No way. It's gonna go up right and up then here, left. Below the trees. And then and straight up that up the left side up the new run. Dude. Yep That's sick. It looks really rad actually We're out here. We found a nice little testing spot just doing a little bit of final touches on the sleds The mod is ripping the stalker needs a little bit of work, but uh Nonetheless, it's fun to go fast and get a uh, track groomed in on the hill here behind me We're in a place called the rodeo grounds and uh Yeah, man, it's been fun this whole process the late nights the long drives all the work uh, you know, a few more hours in the garage tonight and we'll be loading up and on our way tomorrow. Oh, he didn't drink his syrup this morning, eh? Hey, since we're in your backyard, let's uh, go find us some jumps, man. Yeah, we can find some jumps. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> well, that wraps it up for uh, training, travel. All of it's done, all the work is done. We're gonna take these sleds home now, back to the shop. We'll do a little bolt check and uh, Check these sleds, throw them in the trailer, and uh, get ready to head to Jackson. Oh, oh you thought turbos were cool.
Yeah, so we're back in the garage. Shad just went digging in the drawers and found this like gnarly sort of like butcher and steak knife looking thing. And we're gonna cut some tracks with it tonight. Uh, gonna take this two and three quarters track down to a little bit over two inches. So got a little bit of work ahead of me and we're gonna hammer some screws into this thing and uh, we're gonna have a race lid in a couple hours. <laughs> See if it works first before you video. <laughs> I'd be looking like a spode, like Poirier sharpening your chainsaw. Well, oh, look at that, dude. Now we got the track lugs cut down. I've just been starting to put the screws in. The overall lug height now is like just a little bit over two inches. It's super rigid. Hopefully, that'll get me lots of traction to go up over the top. Dude, I think it looks good. It's gonna look a lot better than racing Andy Thomas's, I know that. All right, it's 2 a.m., it's Wednesday night, I've gotta to drive to Jackson tomorrow, I'm getting up at like 6 or 6.30, so I'm gonna get a little bit of sleep tonight. Got the mod sled in behind me, this is a Boost Chaos 850. Got the stock sled over here, it's a Chaos 850 as well. And then my freestyle sled in the back. That little thing's been neglected all week while I've been working on these uh, freestyle, or these hill climb sleds. So I am so tired, I can't even talk. So I gotta go to bed, we're gonna shut the lights off, load these things up in the morning, and hit the road. Finally, we're all loaded up. I am exhausted. I haven't worked on snowmobiles that hard in a long time, but uh, Next stop, see you in Jackson. Thanks for all the help this yeah. week, dude. Right see you in Jackson. Chances, dude.